idea where they to go now, come on. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm Lauren, if you're new here. Today we're starting an exciting new series, which is going to be called Cooking with My Nonna. So this is my nonna Anna. Say hi to everyone. Hello everybody. <laughs> um, and I just thought it would be really fun to spend a bit of time cooking with my nonna and um, share some of our favourite recipes with you all because nonna is the best cook and <laughs> she has some great recipes to share. So I hope you enjoy it. And today we're doing fresh pasta and we do a bolognese sauce and then we can eat after. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Four cups of flour, one, two, three, four. We need a pinch of salt, six eggs, Nona is very efficient at cracking these eggs. <laughs> we are. A little bit of water, a half a glass. Then you mix it up. And then you put the flares all around, around, around. You see? So once it's mostly mixed, you get in with your hands and give it a good mix with your hands. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you need a little bit of extra flair because sometimes the eggs sound bigger. So Nonna just sort of judges it by how it looks, don't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, yeah because sometimes the eggs are a little bit bigger. Gotta come firm, you know, firm dog. I don't think that's enough now, see? See, the egg there, they were big. This is a home air fresh egg. That's a really free, free range eggs from our farm. Do you want me to help you stir it? No, it's okay. No, I'll okay. be all right. See, I put a little bit more flour for, for clean my hands. See, it's more, <laughs> a little. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll put them on the table so you saw you can come around. So we've moved the dough onto a nice big surface now. Nonna uses the dining room table and we're kneading, kneading the dough. Like this? Yeah. Like that. See, with this. On the side of the pan, you go like that, like that. Now what we do, we give them a rest. We you can rest for half an hour or one hour, whatever you want to do. And Nonna usually put them in one saucepan. Or you can put glad wrap and put them in the fridge. You put them in there and that's it, you close. You leave half an hour, one hour, whatever you, it all depends on uh, the time you got it. Yeah. So you can mix in the morning, you can even do it in the afternoon after roll them out. Now how long are we leaving it for now? Well, now we can leave it for 15 minutes, 20 okay. minutes. And you're saying the longer and you leave it, is it the better? The better it is, yeah. Okay, now, in the meantime, we can do the sauce. Some oil, olive oil or whatever, you know, if you use olive oil, if you use the other one. Are you, are you recording? Yeah. Yeah. See? Oh, you've already got onion in here? Yeah, I'll put the onion already. I already cut the onion. We let it, you know, fry, so it make it soft, you know. Soften the onion, then you put the mince. You brown the, the mince, and then you put the sauce, which the tomato sauce we all make ourselves. And after that, you put all the seasoning, you know, salt and pepper, you add the spice, whatever you wanted to put. I usually put salt and pepper and not milk. That's it. At the moment. <laughs> yeah, we have a look at this, otherwise burn. Yeah, soft. You might get soft, otherwise burn. Okay, you dry the rash. Okay. 
So what we've learned from this is that Nonna does not really follow any recipe. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I was just saying she doesn't measure anything. With a little, just a little, a little bit. That's on your taste. If you like a more, you can put more, all depend on the taste. And now we can put the sauce. So this is Nonna's homemade tomato sauce. We'll do another episode on that. Two, mo two more bottles of tomato sauce. And then a bit of tomato paste to thicken it up. Oh, this it is, up, what yeah. is it? Lego's Lego. tomato paste. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't really matter what it, it doesn't is. doesn't matter, yeah. No, no, use a Lego. I love how Nonna refers to herself in the third person. Now <laughs> 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 yeah, we let her cook. Half an hour, all, all the paint, all the paint. Talk us through how to do it. Oh, ah, yeah, I gotta talk. See, you pass it three, four times, all the paint, all the paint, how you want it to do. The more you go through, the more fine the pies this time. So we just did it on number oh, one on num the machine. I did the number one and then we shifted the machine on number three and then on number five and then on number six. <laughs> Cut them in a half because otherwise it's too long. And then we make it thin again. See, my machine is a number one too height. But when you're too height, it's too thin, it doesn't go through. Six is the best, you know. Number six is the yeah. best? Yeah, for me, yeah. For, all the pain, the whole machine is different. Yep. Yeah. Pass the machine. It's fun cooking with you too, Nana. <laughs> Sorry that I'm doing all the, you're doing all the work. It doesn't matter. <laughs> when you learn after you do, yeah. Okay. You can turn with the sauce. Yeah, you okay. Know? So the sauce is bubbling away there. We're just going to turn it down a little bit. So Nonna was just saying we put it over here on the table. So it dries a little bit before we cut it. Nono's sitting outside waiting for lunch. <laughs> Hi Nono. Wave. <laughs> Nono's bored. <laughs> When you do all the time, you, you go faster. We go all the pies to, on the table, on the bench, on the table, and then we let it dry for a little while, 10, 15 on the paint, and then we cut that the tagliatelle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nona's got a glass, see? <laughs> 
got a bigger one. <laughs> no, no, got water. Do you want to say hello? Uh, hello. Hello. Maria? Yeah. A little bit of flowers. You do that, they come here. Just a little bit of flour, and then you spread them up, and you turn them around because you see the. And turning them over, yeah. so they feel kind of um, yeah. not them. as damp. Then, yeah? yeah, not too damp. Yeah, put them around on the other side. Then we're gonna cut it through the tagliatelle. And sometimes, no, no, when you didn't have the machine, you just use a knife to yeah, cut right. it up? Yeah, the knife with the knife. To that, we can put it to the machine, but if you want me to show the other way, you can do that. Sure. But I'm going to show it. Now? Yeah. We make the tagliatelle now. We just put a, the machine like that. Like We're just laying them on the, on the thing there. tray. Try. And that way we can freeze them if we want to, right? You can freeze them in here. They look nice, really. Eh? Very nice. <laughs> Very that's good. Looks right? good, huh? <laughs> look, nice and long one. <laughs> Nona makes this look very easy. That's all right, it's actually that. a little complex if you haven't done it before. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, it's Nona's going to show us how she just cuts the pasta with a knife instead of the actual machine. The machine, yeah. It's quite straightforward, but Nona's got her special techniques, huh? <laughs> so you layer them all up? You lay them all up, yeah. I do many for the time, yeah, like that. So four at a time? Yeah, and after I fold them in a half like that. That's a big knife. Mm -hmm. And this is the way we used to do, see? Hey, look, they're nearly all the same. So if you don't have a pasta machine... Yeah, if you don't have a pasta machine, you cut them like this. And then you go like that. Yeah, see? And then you open up like this. Looks and good. That's, that's all. If you want longer, instead of to, to fold them one like that, you roll them this other way. Yeah. And then you get long, and then long you strands. Cut, and then you see what they come out. You go like this, here. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. But this is the long one. Nice and long. Like you cut the other way. And this is the shorter one. That's the shorter. See, look, this is a shorter like that. And this is still the long one. See? Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. When you freeze and you want to cook, you just put them in the boil water already frost. Don't defrost, otherwise they stuck together. Okay. That's it. Sounds good. Yeah, so we're going to cook some of this now? Yeah, 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 we're going to cook some now and then we, I'm going to take some home, is that? Yes, I'll take some home. Thank you, <laughs> Nana. And uh, there will be enough, uh, I think, like 10 people. Yeah. But you can uh, freeze I, some of it. It all depends how, many pe how much you eat, too. <laughs> how hungry you are. How hungry you are, yeah. It all depends how much you are there. We'll pop these in the freezer um, and we can use it another time. We're just getting the water boiling. Boiling and then we put salt in the water and then we put the pasta. 
when you come at boil and you let it cook for a minute and that's it. Nice. Looks good. Mm -hmm. It cooks very quickly, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. We think that we have to Right. And that's the, do you want to lift it up? Let's turn the sauce in there. In there. Yeah, we cut it up. Maybe get the other to come and do it. That's it. Nice and yellow. That's because they're <laughs> fresh eggs. There's a fresh egg from our, from our farm. Really, really, as I say, um, organic and organic. <laughs> so how do you tell if it's ready? Because you can tell it with your, you know, your fingers. <laughs> yeah. Or you can taste, Lauren. You want to taste? Yeah, I'll have a little taste. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so good. Good, 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 good. So fresh. Very nice. There is another secret. When you cook pasta, you always put a bit of cold water that does a stop and to not overcook. When it's cooked, yeah. before you dry it, you put a little bit of cold water that they stop not to go overcook. Okay. All right? Sounds good. <laughs> in any, any pasta, see, look, you see what I did, look. You can do something. You can cold water. And that one stop to overcook. Yeah. I put it back here, but not I use one dish. See, you will clean this sauce for it. And a little bit of cheese. See, this is enough for one person. Yeah, see. See, see this is already for three persons. See, yeah. everything is enough. Yeah, so it's quite but, a lot of pasta. <laughs> but I'll give you more. And plenty, anyway. That looks plenty, that's a, that's a big that, serving. That's a, you, you, you and Tom, enough? Yeah, that's plenty. <laughs> uh, you and Tom, I mean, they need to know not tonight. All right? Mm -hmm. Nice? Looks yeah, very good. Okay, you take this one on. Now we put a little bit of more sauce, if you like it, plenty of sauce. If you don't like plenty of sauce, you don't pour it. Yeah. Yummy. And some carrot. <laughs> and we're all done. All done. All right, the dinner's ready. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Nana. Yeah, but have a very cheese. That's better. <laughs> You put a parmigiano cheese. That's it. Very good. I'm happy that you like it. <laughs> Ready to eat, Maya. Next time we're gonna make lasagna. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. <laughs> ciao. A ciao for Maya. We'll see you next time. <laughs> I like that. Oh, no, really ciao good. for now. <laughs> Very <Yeah>. good. <laughs> ciao for now. <laughs> I can see me. Yeah. <laughs> no, like that. No, like that. Oh, like I turn it the wrong way. Yeah. It doesn't go in. <laughs> okay, yeah. Go. Pronto. 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 Yeah, I have a taste. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I went on the floor. <laughs>